The One with Phoebe's Husband is the fourth episode of the second season of Friends and like pretty much every episode this is a really brilliant well-rounded episode with a lot going for it. This was released originally in October 1995 directed by Gail Mancuso and we have special guest star Steve Zahn who plays Duncan, Phoebe's husband and I have to say the opening scene for this is one of my favourites. It's quite unusual because the opening scene just has one friend in it. Usually it's all of them, sometimes it's a couple of them, but it's just Rachel. She's in the kitchen on the phone to her mother and a pigeon flies in. And this will contain spoilers, by the way, if you haven't seen this episode. She captures the pigeon. Steve Zahn comes in saying he needs to speak to Phoebe. And then, well, I won't say exactly what happens, but... If you've seen it, you'll know what I mean. And honestly, I just thought it was beautifully executed. I don't know how many times they had to try and shoot that, but it was a lot of fun to watch and one of, in my opinion, the best intros. And of course, the gang realised that Phoebe was married to a gay ice dancer. And things aren't necessarily as straightforward as it seems. He wants to talk to Phoebe because he wants a divorce, which maybe is a good thing because, you know, Phoebe's not actually married to him, even though she is legally. But then it stirs up some old feelings in Phoebe and it starts to question things like what could have been and it does it with some hilarity. Um, for example, when, when Duncan is revealing that he is actually straight and he's talking about how his parents will be fine with it because his brother is straight. Um, obviously kind of flipping the usual conversations you'd have if somebody comes out as gay or bisexual or something. And it does it with comedy. But I think it also looks at things in a slightly serious angle and... I thought it handled it very well. Phoebe's dress that she wears when she goes to see Duncan is very iconic. It's one of those outfits where if you see it, you know the episode. And um, I rather enjoyed that one. The rest of the episode focuses on people learning secrets because Phoebe's husband, the secret is revealed. So they start to reveal each other's secrets and we find out about Chandler's nubbin. And... It's so weird because, obviously, as an avid Friends fan, I'm more than aware that Chandler has three nipples. But it's weird to think that there was a time when the gang didn't know that. And they really milked that for all it is worth. There are a lot of jokes about Chandler's nubbin. And it's something that does crop up again and again over the seasons. Um, and it's kind of nice to look back at the origin. Joey was in a porno. Chandler calls Monica a bitch, which I don't know if it was in the original broadcast Definitely it was on the Netflix where I watched it, but I'm not sure if you would have if they would have kind of edited around that um in the original. If anybody knows, please feel free to let me know. I can't remember I have no recollection of whether or not that was in the VHS version that I had. And we do also spend a lot of time in Ross's apartment, which is quite unusual because I'm so used to living him living across well, actually I won't spoil that, just in case you haven't seen beyond this episode. But we do get to see him in this apartment, which we've been in a little bit. And Ross is wondering about what to do about sleeping with Julie. Rachel gives him some terrible advice. I like the fact that they didn't make Ross and Rachel and Julie too depressing in this episode. Up until this point, whenever they've been mentioned, it's usually quite heartbreaking because Rachel is really struggling. But most of the conversations surrounding Julie in this one were quite funny. So I think it worked out very well. Um, two other things that I loved, um, one of my favourite lines is, you know it still smells like monkey in there? Just so out of the blue. And the whole singing in the rain parody with Ross, which I thought was very effective and very wonderfully done. It really is a great episode. The one with Phoebe's husband may not be my personal all-time favourite, but I had a lot of fun watching it again. Really is a very strong, funny episode with some sentimental moments and is one that I will always be happy to watch.